Hey guys, if you are a WordPress user or a WordPress developer, sometimes you have to add some margins in your page, let's say in your page or a post. So there are certain ways you can add margins in your WordPress. So in this video, I will show six different ways that you can change margins in your WordPress. Okay, let's start. First of all, I have this localhost WordPress installation and I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay. So first way is using the full site editor. To use that, go to appearance and editor. So this is full site editor. You can see here, right? So once you open that, it will open this navigation on left side and your WordPress on right side. Okay. So you can edit. In real time let's go to some block let's say uh, this is a block okay and we need to add some margin here so what we can do click on that particular block or select block okay so let me uh, go to up here okay let me select this block okay click here that is settings and here you can see two options template and block okay so let's go and select again so it's now selected here this is the option styles go to that and here you can see margins so here we have available margins top vertical and bottom so this is vertical it means top and bottom you can also uh, use custom okay so basically it's uh, vertical so here you can change the margin you see this margin value is updating here the spacing is getting updated right you can also click here set custom size and here you can change four and the pixel or percentage whatever you want okay so just do it save save and it will done okay so using this full site editor you can add margins so this margin option is totally up to the theme which theme you are using and sometimes for some blocks this margin is not available okay so it depends on how this theme is uh, developed right so for example uh, this block is also having margin you can see top and bottom margin is there okay so um, using this full site editor you can add margin on block wise okay so uh, wordpress is basically uh, the wordpress page or blog uh, blog post is basically uh, consist of multiple blocks right so you can add margin on blocks okay so this is the first option full site editor second one is block editor okay so this block editor is useful uh, for your post basically okay so let's go to our post page and let's say uh, this is the post i want to add margin okay so go to here click edit so it will open this editor and this editor is basically block editor okay so let's go to our editor here for example, I want to add some margin here for this particular block. Okay. Or let me uh, select some small block. So yeah, let's select this block. Okay. Right now you see uh, it is, yeah, it's block. Okay. So right now this is not converted into block. It's a editor. So you need to click on convert to blocks. Once you convert into block, you can edit here easily as well as once you convert this into block you see we have this dimensions here and right now no dimensions are there because we ha we have just created this block right we have converted this post into block so we can edit in a block manner in a block way okay so right now dimensions dimensions are not there you can click on this plus sign and here you can add padding or margin so let's add margin here once you add that let me add and once you add that you can see 
now you can add the margin right this is top and bottom this is left and right but it is not uh, applying because uh, padding is already there so update and let's see how this is working so uh, we have added some margin here the primary objective paragraph okay it's a local host so sometimes uh, due to zamp it takes some, uh, some time to load okay but uh, you got the point how you can add the margin here right let me check again what is the issue yeah so now top margin is six for example and see how it is working now so let me refresh and this is the paragraph the primary objective of something and see right now we have this top and bottom margin so this is the second way you can use block editor to change the margins the third point is the third option is using custom css in wordpress theme so uh, this is the theme i think the theme name is uh, 2024 yeah the active theme is 2024 so using this theme you can add the margin so uh, what do uh, what do i mean by using this theme you can either edit this theme style dot css file or you can create a child theme of this parent theme and create css and uh, whatever class you want to add you can add select those classes and add margins so this is css wordpress theme the fourth option is using custom css in sidebar in site editor okay so what do i mean so uh, site editor okay so this is uh, our post let me close it this is our page okay so now uh, let's click on editor and here you see uh, we have a particular editor here okay so let's say uh, click on the styles these are the uh, styles available options are available here right you can select and save but right now i'm keeping the default one here click on this it is uh, the edit styles once you click you will see this uh, style sidebar here here click on additional css and using this additional css you can add margin or any css you want okay so let me add margin 50 pixel right you see the margin is added now this uh, top 50 percent basically it is uh, adding uh, margin 50 percent from all four sides okay so using this customized css option in this site part in site editor you can add any css not only margin you can select the class and you can add any css here okay so uh, this was the site editor and the next option is theme customizer so uh, let's see what theme customizer is so let me go to uh, dashboard here you can see we have uh, this activated theme 2024 click on theme details and here you see the customize option click on that and again once you click on that you will be uh, landed on the same page right click on styles uh, the style edit style and add additional css here okay so uh, the option is same the way you can uh, come to this page is different so this is the option using theme customizer the last option is the sixth option is using wp code plugin so i don't recommend this plugin uh, because we have multiple ways to do this but sometimes uh, the theme is very heavy or uh, you don't know how to edit the css in theme editor or customizer then this is a good option so wp code plugin so this is the plugin it is um, a free plugin right 
when you install and activate this plugin, you will see the option to add CSS code. Okay, so using CSS code, you can add margins. And uh, to do so, what you have to do, first of all, you need to inspect any element. Let's say I want to add some margin to this, then I need to copy this class, for example, and uh, need to write down some CSS using this class. So to do so, you need uh, some knowledge of CSS and HTML as well. Okay, so uh, this is also one way you can add CSS in your WordPress. So margin is the part of this CSS. Okay, so that's all. Um, I try to explain six ways to add margins in WordPress and hope uh, this video is useful for you. And if you have any question or any suggestions, you can leave your comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. If you are new to my channel, please visit my channel. I have uh, created a playlist for WordPress and uh, there are many um, videos created for WordPress uh, for uh, ChatGPT integration and uh, this uh, performance lab plugin explanation. So few videos I have created on WordPress as well. So if you want to uh, watch those videos, have a look and please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you. See you next time around. Bye.